Hello, everybody. How's it going? I'm Craig, and this is Spirit of Vinyl. I know, I just talked to you guys yesterday, it seems like. Seems like yesterday when I just did a video. Um, I'm going to jump on this thread. Mike from MGK Boston started a thread. Uh, album covers with guys in suits and ties. He wanted 10 albums with guys in suits and ties. Uh, I saw Gary from Physical Format Rock and Roll also did it. Uh, both of those guys were wearing suits. As you can see, I am not wearing a suit because I don't even own a suit or a tie. So I'm actually wearing the same shirt I was wearing in yesterday's video because I'm nasty like that. No, I only wear clothes a couple hours a day or whatever. Actually, that's not true either. Don't get any ideas, guys. I do have clothes on. I, I've even got pants on underneath here. So, um, so anyway, I thought I'd jump on real quick for this thread from Mike, MGK Boston. This is a cool idea. I had a hell of a time coming up with 10 records with guys in suits. I just do not listen to that same type of music. Um, it was hard for me. I'm going through, and I was trying not to show some of the same stuff I'd already seen. But unfortunately, that's going to have to happen. Because, um, you know, when you listen to mostly hard rock and heavy metal, it's kind of hard for the guys in the suits thing. So, you know, it is what it is. So, all right, we're going to start right here first. Jethro Tull, thick as a brick. See, there's a guy in a suit in the front cover right there. This was the last one I pulled out while I was going through. I'm like, oh, shit, he's got a suit on. That'll cover this thread right here. So, great album, thick as a brick. One giant long ass song, pretty much. Uh, I dig it a lot though. So, but yeah, there's your front cover. It says, uh, Judge disqualifies Little Milton in last minute rumpus. So, apparently, this kid must be Little Milton. Um, so, yeah, guy in a suit. So, that's one. All right, second one um, Suits and Ties, Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers Band, greatest hits. All these guys having little suits on with their cummerbunds and their bow ties and their guitars. Um, I honestly have never played this record. It's one of the country ones. I don't usually listen to country, um, but I should because I know a couple of these songs on here. So one day I'll give it a listen. So, um, but there you go. Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers. Guys with suits and ties on. All right, this one you've seen if you watch Gary in physical format and rock and roll. Blondie parallel lines. There's the whole band all looking sharp in their suits and their skinny ties. Um, Gary had already shown this, but in order for me to get 10, I had to show it too. So uh, there we go. Blondie parallel lines. Another great record. Another great record. I love this. My newfound love for Blondie. Always liked a few of their songs, but uh, recently I started getting into them when I got into all things, you know late seventies and early eighties, new wave sound or whatever. And I got into Blondie and yeah, this is a great record. So guys in suits and ties. This one we're going to go with Huey Lewis in the new sports. He's got a tie on right here. He's holding his suit jacket right there. So I don't know if that counts. If that doesn't count back there in the mirror, this guy has a suit or well, has a tie on and he's got part of his suit. He's just not wearing the jacket. Maybe Huey's got the jacket right here. I don't know. So Huey's the new sports, a good record, cool 80s poppy music. Uh, so there he is looking all casual, holding his uh, suit jacket over his shoulder with his tie nice and loose. Being Huey Lewis and being cool. All right. Duran Duran, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Notice a couple of these guys got suits and ties on. Some of them don't, but right here couple of guys in suits and ties. Uh, this is not my favorite De Duran Duran album. It's pretty good. It's decent. It's got the reflexes, the only hit on here. Uh, their first couple are much better records, but you know, I don't mind this one at all either. So there you go. Guys in suits and ties. Um, B-52s. Uh, yeah, Cosmic Thing. Right there's Fred with his uh, suit and tie on. So, uh, this is a great record too, by the way. Um, so there we go. Suit and ties. Yeah, this is a good one here. I like this record a lot. I like all things B-52s pretty much. So, uh, there we go. Suit and tie. 
Sorry about the chair squeaking. All right, I'm kind of going a little bit over the edge with this one. Adamant Prince Charming. Technically, that is a suit. And what he's wearing is technically an ascot, but still a tie, right? So let's count this one. you got to please count it. If not, I don't have 10. <laughs> well, I do, but I didn't want to show two of the same band. So Adam Ant, or Adam and the Ants, actually. Prince Charming, great record. I think it's their second one. Uh, but yeah, there he is in his cool British suit with his ascot. So I technically that's a tie. Right, Mike? If not, veto my video. Okay. Led Zeppelin. Presence. There's a guy sitting at the table looking at the obelisk wearing a suit and a tie. Uh, <laughs> when I was doing the live stream on Sunday Night Vinyl Confessions, I brought this album up and Marsha P about lost her mind. Uh, she says, I think the saying is something like, uh, it's worse making a boring album than it is making a bad album. And she's saying this one is boring. I do like this. It's definitely different for Led Zeppelin though. Uh, but there you go. Guy in a suit and a tie on the front cover. Eddie Money. Uh, this has got two tickets to paradise. Um, I'm not seeing a title on here. And all this is in Japanese. So I don't know if it's just a self-titled. Uh, but it's the one that's got two tickets to paradise. You really got to hold on me. Baby, hold on. Uh, it's a great record. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. He's got a tie. So Eddie Money looking surprised with his cigarette in his hand. Like, oh my God, who took the picture, right? So there we go. And we'll get to these guys right here. Beatles, Rock and Roll Music Volume 2. All four of them got suits and ties on, looking like proper uh, English gentlemen. Uh, this one is a greatest hits record. It's got Taxman and Hey Bulldog and Gotta Get You My Life, Back in USR, Helter Skelter, so on and so forth. Um, so there you go, suits and ties. And the last one is the first one I thought of when I heard of this thread, of course. Kiss, Dress to Kill. There they go. The guy's all hanging out in the street corner of New York, suit and tie. Uh, look at Gene's suit. Look how short it is on him. Apparently, they didn't own suits either, like I don't own suits, and these were borrowed from, um, oh yeah, from Neil Bogart, or Doc McGee, one of the two, or both, or whatever, they had to borrow suits for the front cover. So, uh, iconic Kiss album cover, great record, their third run overall. Uh, you know me, I'm a Kiss fan, I love it all anyway. So there we go, four guys with suits and ties on, so... There we go. That's 10. I did it. I got all 10. So go give uh, Mike over MGK Boston a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll link his uh, original video for this thread down below. And I'd like to thank Mike for putting this out there. I really appreciate it. This is a cool idea. Hopefully some of the other guys will jump on there. Uh, you can be like Mike and Gary from Physical Format, and wear a suit if you want, or you can, you know, dress like you do every single day like I did. So I don't think you have to wear a suit. So, all right, this is, like I said, I thought this was a cool idea. I never, you know, for Mike to think of this, I think it's awesome. So, all right, thanks, Mike. Thanks, all you guys. Um, thread time. Have a good one. I look forward to seeing some other videos out there. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.